Evan, play the Sekiro game. Okay, editor, put in you the clip of it. Evan saying clap again. <laughs> clap. Clap. <laughs> <laughs> Evan has to use noise canceling clap. shit because of his echoey house, so every, he can't every, clap. <laughs> he has to say the word clap when we sync the audio. <laughs> every time you kill somebody, you should put up a quit, like a three times sped up clap. <laughs> <laughs> put, put Evan with a gangster react emoji that says get clapped. <laughs> oh, get, look at you just clap Whoa! that guy. Holy you shit. 360 clap. Dude, I already know this is a better game because that one kill was more exciting than anything that happened in Banjo. No, no, no. You didn't see the number 70 next to some golden notes, did you? Because that shit... If, if oh, you're a loyal man. fan of the channel, there's a series on Banjo-Kazooie we recorded that might just not see the light of day. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> oh my god. This, this is so fucking cool. Look at that. That guy got his face exploded. Banjo-Kazooie is like the Sekiro fluffer for us. Oh my god. <laughs> This so is so real horny for Sekiro. Oh no, Evan, don't die though. That'd be embarrassing. Yeah, nice. Killed oh, his head. Baby. I forgot. If they're dying like that, is there a reason to execution them? Or is it just cool? For fun. It gives you iframes. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, and it'll recharge use abilities your use later your samurai on. suck. Your shinobi suction. <laughs> so. Nice and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, peaceful, meditative, if you will. <laughs> I sure hope no one kills and then sucks me with their shinobi suction. Oh my I love god! Walking through a forest. Oh shit! <laughs> that was giving me a. We are two ventriloquists, <laughs> and we practice every day. Evan went backwards. Evan's I'm going backwards. Get my ass's flask back up. I swing a bit more. I swing. But a now bit you have less. to go through all that again. No, I don't. Okay, he Mister. I know everything about nothing. Oh, do the three oh, angels? No, I do. Praying. I'm just not going to do it. What are the three angels praying? If you go back real quick, <laughs> up one, up one, like the three Jesus. It's like the worst upgrade in the game. Oh, uh, just like Jesus. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no. Getting crucified is not super fun. You don't say that. You don't know. You like you it? Know that. Okay. We could I'm try it. Python. Have you been crucified? Have you ever I tried it? Is this a Monty Python bit now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't hurt that much. Uh, no, worst ways you could go. I watched that movie oh, for the first time mm -hmm. ever. Uh, Which one, Life of Brian? Life of Brian. Yeah, it was. Man, that's that's a good, good movie. It was cool. It was solid. It's great. Mm -hmm. I think I like um, it's not officially Monty Python, but it's part of that like umbrella. I think Brazil is the best thing they've ever made. What? I've never seen Brazil. It is, Brazil? It is fucking amazing. It's it, by the Monty Python people? It's one of the dudes from Monty Python, I believe, and it's his commentary on, like, British industrialism and the work culture, and it's... Interesting. It's one Which, of the most incredible movies I've ever seen. Not, I think it's, it's Brazil. It's right? It should be Brazil. It's, it's it might be John, I'm gonna look... I'm Google this. Everyone be funny in my stead while I Google this, <laughs> so I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh... Yeah, Monty Python's great. And then, of course, um... Life of, or sorry, Life of Brian. Then there was a. Uh... Holy grail. Okay, I'm, no, I'm life back. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I came back so from quick. the Google Zone. It is, it is I Brazil. See. It's Brazil. It came out in the '80s, and it's by Terry Gillum. Terry Gillum. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Terry Gillum, yep, yep. who was part of Monty Python, worked on Holy Grail. Um, yeah. Well, the man and it is his kind Ow. of, kind of commentary on like the British industrial. Uh, modern industrialism and work culture it's and very good. all the bureaucracy and it is oh my god like top 10 okay, films please go watch Brazil yeah, if you've never seen it top crushed. 10 movie of all time amazing now, now uh, Life of Brian was that financed by the Beatles or was it somebody else it was somebody um, that financed it it was financed it. by Monty Python no no they didn't have enough money wait um, what and so what some is this? how are we getting this cutscene uh, again hang on a minute this is the, no this is Dragon Rot wait, oh yeah. this is because you suck Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, continue. I'm, I'm in the Google zone now. <laughs> so there's a cool mechanic in this game, Hayden, that you're the only one who doesn't know. Uh, I'm the more that you know. die, the more that you die, you get this disease called Dragon Rot. And uh, the more that you die, the more NPCs in the game die. So the less help you're given. Oh, interesting. Less XP. It's pretty well, fucking cool, actually. It's a running. nice little, little Dark Souls kind of fuck you formula. That is sick. Except it never um, saw, it never went to full fruition. By the way, it's I, I watched a playthrough where a guy intentionally died like a hundred times or something and then went the rest of the game and it just makes it a barren wasteland of nothing. It sucks. Lord. That's yeah. terrible.
Uh, I will also say it was George Harrison who financed Monty Python's Life of Brian. Ooh, not Monty was, Python. Uh, he set up handmade films, uh, mm. which was cost him $3 million. And he said, I Holy just wanted shit. to see the movie. Yeah. <laughs> three million pounds, actually. A movie. Well, that yeah. was before three Holy million Grail, pounds. wasn't it? Three million, million, three million. Wasn't Life of Brian million. before Holy Grail? I think it was after. Because Hol- Holy before. Grail was the movie. Like, they were big before that, but Holy Grail was like the breakout big international thing. It was, it was like the them. Holy Grail of movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I'll laugh and banjo kazooie at that. <laughs> 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 Now, hey, Rod, uh, uh, now, who's uh, this uh, hey, Rod? We met her yet? Dun, 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 okay, dun, so dun, Big dun, Tom, dun. Um, Evan, what are you doing? Explain the plot to you. My ass. <laughs> my mother <laughs> called me. Hold on. Oh, God. You're doing your oh, ass okay. while your mother called you? Who called you? Did you give him Dragon Rod? Oh, that's uh, topical. I hope not. I like my the mother. cream you should oh. take. What'd your mom have to say? Put her on the phone. Yeah, let's hear your mom. <laughs> yeah, put, <laughs> put her on the show. She said, Evan's mom. She said, honey, did you just get Dragon Rod? You fucking suck. <laughs> now jump that. Jump off that. Jump off that. Jump off that. Now jump off that. Jump off that. Now jump off that. Jump off that. You're welcome. You only got up there because of me. You're welcome. Got up there because of me. You're welcome. You can still kill guy if you're fast. You fucked it up. Samurai, kill him. It was samurai style. This guy's the coolest guy ever because he kicks your sword and does not care. He is cool looking. Yeah. He's like Huawei. Can't you Makiri counter his foot? Some shit. One of his attacks. There it is. That one. Well, not when Evan fucks it up, you know. The it's a lunging attack. attack. Yeah. And Come so, on. Come the on. duel continued as Evan realized that he still has to call his mother back. <laughs> Damn that posture. Now, we talked about it before, but what's your favorite Miyamoto Musashi kill? <laughs> I like when he used the sword and cut the guy. Okay. Would you like me to okay. tell you mine? There's a manga called Vagabond, okay. if you guys yeah, heard of it. Yeah, it's supposed to be off him. I, yeah. I read him. a bit of it, and then I got bored and gave up, but I only saw him kill one guy, and what he did was he challenged him to an honorable duel, and he was like, well, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to use the hilt, or not the hilt, but the sheath of my sword, the, the little holder. I'm not going to use the blade. Oof. I'll just use the, the wood. And the guy was like, no, use your sword, dude. Like, what the fuck? And he's like, no, I don't need it. It's fine. And he hit him in the head so hard with just the wood that he fucking killed him and just blew up his brain. So that's kind of similar to what actually happened. Um, My favorite story about him is there was a very famous swordsman that had perfected something called the swallow counter. And it was supposed to be... Uh, I've seen that before. uh, Yeah, I know you (laughs) are. Oh, boy. Um, Look, that guy failed the swallow counter. He did not fail. He did not get the swallow. He had the spit counter. But he had the swallow (laughs) counter. He said, I'm... uh, This will counter any move. You can't defeat me. I'm a perfect defensive master. Right, of course. And so, Miyamoto Musashi Musashi said, um, well, I'm going to come fuck you up. And the guy's like, all right, not going to happen. And so the guy lived on an island. And Uh Miyamoto Musashi got on a boat. And he rowed over there, and as he was rowing over, he took one of the oars and whittled it into a sword, a wooden oar sword. And when uh-huh. he pulled up to the beach, um, the guy with the swallow counter was beach. like looking at him. And Miyamoto Musashi jumped off, brandished the oar, and yelled, screaming at the guy, and then smashed him on top of the head and killed him, and then left. <laughs> oh. Just left the island. Is that your favorite kill, or what actually happened? That That is what they say actually happened, and my favorite kill. <laughs> Now, is Musashi famous or something? I've heard his name before. Yeah, I told you that. He's very famous. I'm kidding. Oh, my God. You (laughs) silly boy. (laughs) You're a trickster. (laughs) You got the trickles. (laughs) This entire village is on fire. Don't go in there. That's number one thing with fire. Isn't this a memory, too? All right. Oh, we we went back to the memory, right? Hey, 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 check it out. It's Owl. Oh, yeah, he killed, like, 300 fucking super cool owls to get that. Well, no, that's, why would you that's not the owl? guy who did that. What an asshole. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, careful, Dylan. About that. This Papa some son. sort of spoiler I've accidentally doubled upon. I want a mod for this game, and all it changes is instead of father, everyone says daddy. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> daddy. Papa. If you want to be... Go that way. All right, so die. so his dad is all like, "Yo, you have one rule being a shinobi, one rule that being a warrior." Yeah, his adoptive dad. Yeah, adopted dad. Yeah, he's the one that took you from the battlefield. Remember, remember in the oh, beginning when the him? little kid had the cut on his face, and he, the guy was like, "You know what? I won't kill you. I'll make you my son." And That's so this, between we're that time, he has been killing hundreds and hundreds of owls to make his coat. 
<laughs> That's how he spends his time. He, yeah, he raises this kid and kills person. owls. What? He's a He's the owl. You know, I hate. I didn't mind when he slaughtered all of those foreign invaders, but when he killed all those owls, I really knew he was an <laughs> he asshole. Go out of his way and get him in trees and shit. God damn it. So anywho, like he's okay. like he's like, hey dude, I adopted you, and you have a code as a warrior and a shinobi, and my son, and it's obey your master. Like master, master puppets, obey your oh, master. I literally and did it. Do that above all else. I don't give a fuck what happens. You do that. That's the number one rule. So and that may or may not apply. That may or may not happen later in the story. That may oh not be God. a plot point. You never know. Uh oh, something a he little bit like uh, Well, would no, he kindly? would never. He would never do anything that wasn't listening to his master. That would just be weird yeah. and stupid. He's not stupid. When's what is he stupid? Why doesn't he call the Justice League? <laughs> <laughs> The when Japanese the really it? thought back in the day that effective armor was just wearing your underwear. <laughs> it's yes, light. It still is. <laughs> it still is. Well, didn't they try to, at some degree, be like, hey, we we did some level of accuracy in something? No? Never mind. I mean, it's... No. Never. <laughs> they did their best. Wait, hey, when's the last time you guys played Bioshock? Bioshock. Um, it's been too long. Uh, I haven't played in a while. Probably a decade or so. Would you kindly? We can play that. That's a great game. I would replay That'd that. Be fun. It's a really good game. That. As yeah, long as it's not infinite, because that's a stinky game. When you can't stop. Yeah, but it's okay. It's it's fine. It was. It, was, it got. What was that? Blown up oh, that is it. Right. Yeah, it's it's fine. But boy, did it not deserve to be called like the bestest game ever when it came out. But do you remember yeah. who's the guy? Who's the G four like head journalist guy? You know, who Adam, I'm Sand about? Adam, Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sessler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Adam Sessler. Yeah. Remember when he did that like eight minute long um, special video review of it and he was like this is the greatest game that's ever been made and he talked yep. about like all of the political overtones and the gameplay mm. and the grappling oh man, man he really talk about that shit hard talk about never meeting your idols when i was a kid i loved adam sessler i thought he was hilarious loved his video game reviews watched x play mm -hmm. all the time and oh, then yeah, the internet comes around and he goes hey g4 is defunct i'm gonna go work at rev three games if you remember them I don't they were a they were another big game review conglomerate online and man his career nose dived after that he just was like a shell of himself and a lot of people think he was a cocaine addict because he'd constantly jitter around and like freak out during interviews and it was like oh man and he i think he's just nothing now i think his career's just dead i, I, I haven't heard of him in a long time exactly yeah but i loved him as a kid i thought he was the best and then as i got older i'm like wait this guy's kind of a weirdo <laughs> i actually read a book for the first time uh -uh, a few months ago uh, <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Picture books count. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm actually proud of myself. I read a no bullshit, no pictures, not comic, not manga, Whoa. actual pure text book oh for the first God. time in literal years, like maybe decade, a decade. How was your attention span? Did you find it difficult? No, it was, it was honestly really relaxing, and I loved it. Nice. I was I enthralled. Like it the long form um, thinking. What was it? It was the Masters of Doom. Oh, really? Which I have talked yeah. about a little bit in the video after I made it. It is a biography of the two main guys behind Doom and how it was the first video game to really, like... It was the first breakout <laughs> video game. The first one that really just... Well, now I guess that'd be Mario Brothers, but the, the it started the whole online PC gaming culture of like modding and deathmatch online play, like all of that shit. It was like the one that completely... It was the genesis of that entire culture, and it's a great story. It's really interesting. Yeah, Damn. definitely the PC side of things. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I think if you go to a Pizza Hut, they'll give you a coupon for a personal pan pizza <laughs> for finishing the book. <laughs> if that's still in play. Well, also, if you have A's, they give you uh, rewards points at Chuck E. Cheese, depending on how many A's are on your report you card. You say AIDS? I did. Yeah. They give kids AIDS at Chuck E. Cheese. That was that scandal. Wait, wait. You can't say that. Legally, we are not uh, saying that that's the case. You think I care about the law? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes? Oh, my God. I have my lawyer right here on call. I know, for God's sake, you're fucking it all up! <laughs> well, please, Andrew, for the last time, just because I'm here doesn't mean you can break the law! Jesus, I don't get paid enough. Um, another cute thing about Masters of Doom, why I'd recommend it, is it was written in 2003. 
so the way that it talks about gamer culture is very very niche and dated and cute like it uses the term Perfect. gamer with no sense of irony or self-awareness it's great yeah, oh, man. it's a great book yeah. i recommend it i liked it oh really nice enjoyed it. dodge there evan thank you yeah, that, that was, was actually <laughs> impressive that was nice <laughs> You have like no iframes from dodging in this game. Oh god! Thankfully, all this stuff is like coded really well for where it's hitting. Mm -hmm. It's not wider than it actually is. This is the what? one where they reduce like dodging, exactly. though, right? To incentivize parodying. Yes. Parodying, yeah. parodying, parodying <laughs> the game, <laughs> making fun of it. Parodying. Oh, game, save yes. those. Yes. You're gonna need yeah. those. Divine confettis. The worst part well. of the game. I'm calling it no. now. <laughs> Hate that bullshit. Absolute trash. Yeah, gonna one what is it? it? You just wait. Uh, coins I'm coins? not going to spoil it, but Divine Confetti is kind of an item that, unless you want your life to be objectively miserable, you need as many of them as you can get. It's not Fair great. Enough. Not really. Yeah. So go ahead and pop one, Evan. Yeah. Like money and no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some confetti. Just. Well, Hayden has to see the animation. You can do Hayden, it. I interrupted no, your talk. I interrupted your talk about a nice, lovely book. Do you want to tell us about your book? Hey, guys. Me? You were talking about a, you asked if we all read a book. We said oh, no yes, and then ignored you. I'm so you. sorry. The, the book is <laughs> yes, you did. And I'm so traumatized <laughs> that I just let that go on without ever thinking about my own brain. No. Oh. It's called Shogun and it's by James Clavell. He's written quite a few. There's, There's a, a really new... fat guy to the left, Hayden. Look. Oh my god. He's, he's called so the drunkard. Fat. He's the oh, show. He's awake now. Like, pause here, your, pause here, your book here, thing here, for here, a bit. Here, send, watch him in, send him in, send in the troops, send in the troops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so there you oh. go. Now you're learning. Dude, that guy, how how much does that guy eat? Jeez. <laughs> hey, jeez. He must eat three, four Shogun. koku of rice a day. Oh, oh the oh, Glock. Oh, no way, you got wool. <laughs> By the way, do you and know what one koku X. of rice is? Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> The fact that they make it so when you hit them with that, they perfectly fill the posture bar. Oh, that's such a oh, satisfying mechanic. I'm going to uh, take hey, that as you were telling us about a book. You do you know what one koku of rice is? Uh, explain. It's a, enough rice to feed a family for a year. And that was a okay. form of payment, Currency. which I learned about yeah. in um, Shogun, which is a very good book by James Clavell, where a... Um, an English ship Why do you think this guy is stranded. so big, though, Hayden? Because he's eating kokus and kokus and kokus of rice, <laughs> my friend. They call he's him Five Koku the Drunkard. Five Koku a day drunkard, yeah. Jozu the he... Five Koku. Look at that. He's gross, though. He's I'm all sorry, gross. I keep interrupting you when you're trying to tell us about your book. Hayden, hey, do you want to... You know, yeah, I wrote um, Shogun by James Clavell. My book. Uh -huh. um, you're James Clavel. You're Mr. Clavel. <laughs> Mr. Clavel yeah, I'm himself, Mr. Clavel. Right. I haven't told anybody that. Hayden but I'm James the Clavel. Star. That's your full name. Yeah. HJC. Yep. It's right. rolled off the tongue. <laughs> there's the there's the Hayden abbreviation <laughs> back and forth. It's, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good book. Read it. Read it. And there's a new mini okay. show about or a new mini series on Hulu about it, which mm -hmm. I'm trying to watch. I thought there was a show. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was the same thing. Yeah, there's an old the series. One. It was, oh, it looks like this year. Like just oh, shit, last week or two weeks ago. Is it about a show? in it. No, yeah. that's why it's called Shogun. Mm. It's, it's not about a Shogun, it's about a Shogun. You it's know about I mean? a cowboy oh, who pulls out his revolver and goes, I'm going to show you my gun. Oh. Title drop. Well, you should watch fucking Deadwood then, goddammit. Yeah, I should. Oh yeah, you've always talked about it's that. It's on the yeah, list. It's absolute poetry. It's on the list. I gotta get Maybe the documental, should, but, man. And then you should watch. Oh, there's so much oh. to watch. Oh my god, there that thing is. looks hazardous. That was his own breath? Sir, you just leave him alone for a little bit. He's gonna die. <laughs> that shit coming out of his mouth. Could Holy you, fuck. Could you have a real confident, fulfilling life if your official title to people was the drunkard? Of course, you could drink so good. But do you think you'd be proud of yourself? Of course, you're a drunk. <laughs> What are you talking about? Yes. That's fair. I guess I, my opinion of myself would be anything, because I'd be drunk. <laughs> right? You'd just be... Joseph, hey, Juzo, right, let's, say, let's say we have to get addicted to one drug. What would you guys pick? Meth. Ass. <laughs> Ooh, ass. Is ass. Right. Classic ass. Classic ass. What is it about say... ass that gets you drunk, Evan? <laughs> <laughs> smell that's a great ew, sentence. Ew, ew. No, yeah, the I'm stinky. Ugh. It's like the worst <laughs> part of it. And here I thought Angel <laughs> yeah. could stomach anything. <laughs> well, I can't stomach my own. Kids. Hey, look! Just because the field's a little muddy doesn't mean I won't play ball. <laughs> oh, he right, likes the grass is always greener. Poop it up. Yeah. Just because there's blood on the field doesn't mean I won't play ball. 
Blood on the saddle, even. <laughs> Blood on the, the saddle. God, that song is so Blood good. Blood on the ground. <laughs> oh God, that song. God, that song. Oh my God. Eat at O's. What a fucking show. Aren't they getting rid of it this year? I don't know, but listen, uh, how fucking they're, quiet Yeah, they're getting rid of it, I, th I think. <laughs> or it's a rumor, rather. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, the Country Bear Jamboree is the most terrifying thing Disney's ever made. And uh, we went to go see it recently, <laughs> and so my life was changed forever. <laughs> but unfortunately, they're apparently modernizing it this year, which means there's no reason to ever go watch it again. <laughs> if you, if you speedrun Disney, like my family, um, it's one of the two... Evan knows the secret. Perfect uh, do. cold spots. You can hit Hall of Presidents or you can hit Country Bear Jamboree. How do people Both not want to go to the Hall of Presidents? Cool Am I, I the like only one now. with an obsessive fascination of the presidents? I, but as a kid, I was like, yes. oh, God damn it, Hall of Presidents, ah, fuck. You know, I was like, <laughs> ah, fuck, I'm going to go to Hall of Presidents, ah, fuck. <laughs> but now I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go to Hall God damn it, shit, piss. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know the thing about the Donald Trump model yeah. no. at, at Disney? No, what? What? Well, no, no I don't. Please. So it looks suspiciously like Hillary Clinton <laughs> in a Donald Trump wig. <laughs> <laughs> so the conspiracy <laughs> theory is that they really thought Hillary was going to win, so they had to switch it at the last Editor, minute. Editor, put that damn. on the screen. Show the that, folks at home. I'll look that up amazing. after this. That's hilarious. That's fucking funny. It looks last a lot like Hillary. Oh, that's too funny. I know South Park had that, where they, they were doing their election special throughout the week, and then Hillary yeah. lost at the last minute. It, and they had the whole season written out for when she won, and they had to just mm -hmm. retrofit the entire story to be about Trump winning. Tell us about that book you've been reading. Oh, that book <laughs> of it's Shogun? Or the, the fucking Franz Kafka autobiography? Or not autobiography, but biography. That's is that biography? Like? And I hate to ask, but is it Kafka-esque? <laughs> oh, it's quite Kafka-esque, yeah. What is Kafka-esque? And then I'm now reading three of his um, novels, The Trial What is Kafka-esque? Coffee ass just means um, sort of ethereal, bizarre, what? on the edge of um, reality. Oh, he was man. very good at, you know, sort of making things. He would very, very succinctly describe some of the evil aspects of human nature by couching it in a very hmm. odd, strange, hard to grasp circumstance. Like, for example, his Kafka. story, The Trial. Um, it's just about a trial, but nobody ever explains how it works. The person is never figures out why it works like it works, and yet he has to go through the entire process, and it ends up uh, pretty badly for him. No spoilers. Now, what so. about the please no meat touching, ma'am? Is that Kafka-esque? <laughs> I no, knew what? that was why you knew <laughs> that phrase. What? I would have been gold bars that Wait. you picked up Kafka-esque from Mission Hill, because that show is in your DNA. What? What? <laughs> I'm lost, but it seems like y'all are right on top of it. Please, man. No meat touching. Holy Mission Hill comes out in the 2000s, and I'm a little baby boy watching it on Fox and Adult Swim. And they, I've seen the episode five entirely. times, yep. and it's a comic book where the punchline is, please no meat touching, ma'am. And it's described as Kafka ask, and that's where little baby boy, little baby hugbees learned what that phrase is and what it means. This one is you as a child right even. here. That lady, that old fucking lady, that's you as a child. Weirdy beans at, weirdy beans. I, I say that all the time to my girlfriend. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so that's what I'm reading. Why right, was that fun for everybody? I still well, think we just of have to the, kill an old woman real quick. Oh my god! Yeah, I think I've picked up the phone on Andrew, and he's just done penis, 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 penis. That was um, that's a nice little trivia fact. Back when I first started YouTube, back in 2010, you had a penis. What? I did, but one of my first videos that I did, I think first three, I end the video, and it. Like, it's, it was Call of Duty. It was Call of Duty gameplay. So I stopped talking. Oh, I go, classic. all right, thanks for watching. See you later. And I'm just silent, and the game's, like, wrapping up. It's like the end result screen. And I come back, and I go, by the way, penis, 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 <laughs> penis, penis, penis. And <gasps> years go by. Years and years and years and years. And I'm making a how it's actually made. And I, need, I keep thinking, how can I, like, fuck with people on this one? What can I do? So in the intro at the very end, when I'm, like, playing it straight, I'm normally just reading the actual intro. I just remove all of it and go, penis, 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 penis. <laughs> that joke has stuck with me for 15 or so years. And Good I've God. stolen it so many times. Hey, if it ain't oh. broke, don't fix it. Penis, penis, penis. It's just so good. This Will is this a be crazy the first fight boss that Evan doesn't just dome. This is actually like the first hard fight. This, in the is, game. Cool. No, this is cool. No, it's a woman. Oh, <laughs> what but do you it's mean? It's an old woman. 
Well, Evan's not going to struggle. Oh, oh my god, when she hits you, kills you in two, he might struggle, actually. Holy shit. I like how this oh, is the, uh, the first big this is the fight that tutorializes you to use the shurikens, and then for the rest of the game, they're just fucking useless. My <sighs> Name one That's time they're good. While. They're good against little enemies wrong. and crowds. Stupid firecrackers. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah. yeah. Here's my question. Okay, sure. why do they call a lady not Madam Butterfly? All right, if you're so good at fucking uh, why? Tales. Why do they call her Lady Butterfly and not Little Butterfly? Oh, and then when you fight Holy her, shit. Siguro goes, I, 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 I am a butterfly. <laughs> I need your protection. Why don't they call her Stupid Butterfly? <laughs> Why doesn't she call the Justice League to kill Sekiro? She's stupid. <laughs> the Justice League will do anything for a fuck for content, you know? I, mean, I thought you were going to say the Justice League will do anything for a buck. They're really struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Hard times have befallen the Justice League. <laughs> Batman had all those uh, lawsuits, you know. Batman shows up. What's the crime? Uh, Batman, mm. uh, my keys fell under the couch. <laughs> Need help? That's why you called me. I'll give you $20. Ooh. Uh, Robin, get in Robin, there. Robin, get in there. You, I need your tiny hands. For 50 you can <laughs> see me open your couch up. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's fine. For Batman. an extra 20 I'll buy you a new couch from Wayne Enterprises. I know a guy. Uh, I'll say, where is he? <laughs> For an extra Are you comfy? <laughs> <laughs> nice seating area. <laughs> Evan, don't die though. There are thousands I of people watching. Die. But don't die. Like you didn't hear me. When's the last time you guys had seafood? Uh <laughs> I eat fish almost every day actually. Fish. Fucking love fish. So I love good. Fish, dead friends. Well, like, When's the last time on, you on had the beach, seafood? Like huh? when you're sitting there on the beach and you're watching mm -hmm. the sun go down and the the bay side waves are lightly lapping across the Stilts of the mm -hmm. beautiful building you're eating, and your the fish waitress in. is gently lapping in my lap. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. And mm -hmm. you just What's you went less? scalloping all day long, and you brought your right. scallops back. I am known to scallop every now and then. Yeah. You're a scallopist, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever That's gone scallop? about seafood. When's the last time you played Shaq Fu? Oh, <laughs> fuck! I, Probably I'm for a video that. that never aired many, many, many years ago. Shame. There's a there's a version on Steam where they updated it and fixed it. I don't know if you saw. Oh really? They redid no, the didn't. graphics. They added characters. They fixed the fighting engine. Ooh. They made like an actual game. Who owns Shaq Fu? Yeah. Is that a studio now? Fu. Well, well, I guess probably. Yeah. I'd hope so. He's oh, a man. sad man, apparently. He's a big. Do you man. remember when Shaq, Shaq, man. Shaq. When Shaq yeah. was the cultural darling, and he would just do things just to do things. Like at one point, he mm -hmm. was in Shazam. And yeah. uh, a Shaq movie Sam. where he's just a genie that grants wishes, and he has, to, he has to do a freestyle rap to prove that he's cool or some shit. And one of his lines mm -hmm. is like, "I infiltrate and I play it. I green egg and ham it." And I, I think about I green egg and ham it every That's day of my life. Good though. That's <laughs> honestly I'm into that. <laughs> yeah. How about this one? How about I hit you with a whoopsie? That's an ass beating that you look at. Mm. Are we just quoting rap lyrics? No, that was real. I did, that wasn't a quote. That was me. All me, baby. You oh, just that came that up? You just <laughs> made that up? Well, quote. a couple days ago, but yeah. Oh. Huh. I just wanted huh. to try We're it fine. out here, test it, just see what opened my rap career, rap career up, you know? The one that I came up with walking around my house today was test tickle oh, my God. test tickles. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Yeah. Let's see, um, what's, a, what's another one we got? I don't know. I have a million, but I save them for videos. <laughs> How about, um, I fuck at my fucking appointments? How about that? I fuck really at bad. my fucking appointments. That was, no, that was just that's actually really terrible. That's what do you mean? Good. No. no. Evan, don't die, though. Good. Did you know Shaq is now a DJ called DJ Diesel? I've heard of that, yeah. He has a music video that came out where he freestyle raps over Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. No, he does. I saw yes, that. He does. Yeah. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. I think that was a good Dylan, did you send it to me? You got another life. You're good. Were you the one who sent it to me, Dylan? I think I, I, I probably was. Yeah. I love that video. He's just in a big like, yep. Mack truck freestyling. He's in a big Mack truck screaming over the chorus to let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Sicker than your average, great with the drink, 21 Savage. Please do call me Diesel, doing what I want y'all doing what you need to. Oh, well, good old Shaq. And then there's the classic Shaq DJing meme where he's really getting into it and pumping his fist. Yeah, why not? Such a goofy guy. He's I a, think, a, he's a fella. He's I a think fella. the NBA Ooh. needs to do what they used to back. do. What they used to do and cast their characters, the characters, their roster as like, as like <laughs> icons of like, like they would cameo in cartoons and comic books and all the shit. And I think what we need to make, 
We need to make a Lord of the Rings remake with former NBA players. I want to see oh my God. Charles Barkley as Frodo and Shaq as Mr. Sam. And oh they have God. to go He'd deliver so the ring. I would pay too much money for that. Mr. Frodo! Mr. Frodo. Uh, oh, Sam. Well, that's it. If I take another step, I'll be the furthest from home I've ever been. I've ever been. Have you seen that? That's it. If I take no! another step, I'll be the furthest from <laughs> have you home. Seen that what do you mean, have I seen step? that? That's Wait, the Evan, you have to do the whole fight much. over? <laughs> Did you skip over that Do you remember when I said movie, that this game times? is great, but boy, the combat's fucking tedious? It's amazing. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan is just continuing on. And that fight was 12 <laughs> minutes, and you have to do it all over again. Yeah, so Hayden I'm sorry, mentioned this it is. in passing, but Shaq is like super sad and alone now. What? Yeah, I, I wanted yeah. to know this. What? what? Are you about? Yeah. There's a couple different videos. One is where he's like talking to a guy, and he's like, "Yeah, you," and I'm alone with a, in a hundred thousand oh. foot house. Like, just little comments like that make. Doesn't him he have seem a long time girlfriend? Upset. He cheated on his he wife. He cheated? Yeah. Oh, and then, I may have heard some different news. <laughs> now he's getting... But I think that was a while ago, but it's still just like, I don't think he has somebody that he really... Mm. Goddamn, Shaq, if I'm ripping you up out there, I'm sorry. We can You can come on and, and, and commiserate no, with we're, us. No, we're pro Shaq. We're very pro Shaq. 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 Shaq, I know you're wa going to watch this. I know of eventually course. you'll put it on, you'll go, oh, the new Hogby's game remote, i got to check that out. You're sad I, know. Alone, like, I know, I know, and I just want to say, don't be just shy. Kidding. Feel free to feel free to reach out. i got a public email. Uh, my Twitter DMs are closed. I guess I could follow you. It's a little inconvenient, but just feel free to reach out. We'll bring you on the show, hang out. <laughs> hey, anybody Maybe needs play to reach basketball. Out? I'm not that into it, you know? Maybe. If anybody Second needs thing, to reach out, we're here to help. Show to Shaq. Yeah, so to Shaq. So to Shaq. Do you still have the cans, Dylan? No. Well, actually, yeah, I do. They're just packed up. Oh, packed up. man. Those, those were a wall of soda shacks. I'm sad. Oh, I only God. got to try like two of them, and there were five. Or four. Four or five. You can buy this them on eBay for like $200 each. Gross. Oh, mm -hmm. that's not much. Oh, I found out earlier today while recording no, something else. Um, okay, I did. Thanks, Hayden. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. So Steven Seagal had oh, an God, energy this drink. Could be anywhere. He had an energy drink called <laughs> something lightning. Um, Jesus. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Uh, two magic death. <laughs> Three, so he had an energy drink. Damage. Had an energy drink called uh, Lightning Bolt, and you can buy it on eBay for fifteen thousand dollars a can. Holy fuck! How many yeah. cans are left? What's the market? Uh, oh. Steven Seagal fans also. Damn, what a boss fight. No, I'm saying if we buy all those, if there's like fifteen, <laughs> you know, we could really. Oh, sell we go for in. We go in on there. Sell them for twenty. You know, yeah. I have a video planned where I try like rare and expensive energy oh, drinks. I remember you telling us about this. Yeah, yeah, and I've got a small collection started so far, and boy, do I really wish I could add the Steven Seagal one there, but I don't <laughs> think I'm going to pay for that. Fifteen thousand is a little rough. <laughs> a little bit much can for you that buy video. One sip for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, you can I, get a I, shot. Would, I would buy for that video. I'd buy some for a hundred bucks. If you if you showed oh. me a really good one or interesting one like the Steven Seagal one, said it's a hundred bucks for the can, I would do it for the video. I would do it, but yeah, yeah. but fifteen fifteen thousand, or even if I misspoken, it's only fifteen hundred. That's still not it's worth still it. Still, just not it. Yeah. No. You remember uh, at yeah, Moy Motos, of course, they have mm. the uh, the fourth or the two thousand dollar whiskey shot. I don't know if you remember that. Yes, Moy yeah. Motos, the only reason to go to Disney Springs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love Disney Springs. Well, they got rid of um, uh, what was the digital Disney gaming thing? What the hell was it? Where they had all of Disney the free Quest. Disney Quest was so fun. It was oh, Disney Quest. It was very that was when we it was went so with a, good. That was when we went with a group of six people on the boat game where you shoot the pirates and stuff. Yeah. And we yeah. found out we found out that when you rock the floor, you also get points. Oh, so I did not all know of that. us were literally just smashing the shit out of oh, it back man. and forth while playing. And the key to that one is to pull the like they have cannons and you basically if you've never played it before, you're on like the front half of a ship. It's Pirates mm -hmm. of the Caribbean style. Yeah. And then you have a bunch of screens in front of you. And you have cannons, uh, like four cannons, two on each side yep. and a wheel. But the cannons <laughs> are like a string with a black ball on the end that you pull. So if you pull it almost all the way out, you can just tap your fingers in and rapid fire in. Yep, and you I can remember just that. absolutely oh. slam that Well, game. you can't oh, do that so anymore because it's gone forever. Uh, well, yes, oh. and they changed to make it for way NBA for the NBA experience. Exchange. I would, I, you know what? 
Here's the thing. I don't like that, yeah, but if I, I were making some money off that contract, experience. I might be able to sacrifice. I think you know. the NBA experience has done nothing but lose money, if is I recall correctly. Still up? I feel like, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you've told it me is. that. Uh, it's, it's, it was purely a ESPN crossover necessity. I think it... Wait. No, I'm Evan, you play now. your game. You play your little children's now. game. The men are talking. <laughs> you fight little lady butterfly. Sorry, we'll talk about ESPN contracts. <laughs> I well, you know, contracts. Evan, you have a you. I won't dox people, but you have a Disney insider in your in your reins. What's the it's what's true. the it's high true. and low? He's got a mole. You yeah. do have a mole. You should ask her about the it. Mole. Does she know? Does she have hey. a mole anywhere on her? Uh, I haven't looked in depth. I will <laughs> yeah, you, you should got a prior look asshole look and look for it. Jesus, you should check. Those things could be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, Dylan's right. This is one hell of a boss fight. All of you check your loved one for malls deeply. Have a nice, check deep, yourself. sensual hey. experience with your loved one or yourself. Public service announcement, check your loved ones for moles. God damn. And check We're your moles God's for loved here. ones. You never know what they're up to. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a banjo kazooie? Back to banjo. banjo yeah. kazooie malls. He's eating, what if he popped up in this game? God damn. I what if I popped a Xanax to get through this game? Yeah, it's okay, Andrew. Complain more. That's what everyone loves <laughs> well, to Well, I am going to complain. That's what my channel's famous for. <laughs> He's a famous complainer. Wow. If you think about it, media analysis and review is literally just advanced complaining. Oh, truly. Yeah. So, so is English. You just <laughs> <laughs> the English language was invented purely to bitch about other races. Just to complain. <laughs> <laughs> We're good at it, baby. Oh man. Wait, why Ooh, does she have her first close. light? I thought you already got her first bar. It's because she's a butterfly, <laughs> and that's a caterpillar. <laughs> It's an illusion. <laughs> she works differently. She's not dying twice. Uh, she like tricks you into thinking you're dying. Right, oh, right, right, right. How right, can right. I be so also, stupid? Evan does have a snap seed. He just doesn't use it. Oh, that's cool. Yes, he does. One. Yeah, you have you only one. Have one. Yeah, you only have one. You used, used it. Used it. Oh. When did you use it? What do you mean? The first time. The first time. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a very vague. When did you use it? The first time. No <laughs> shit. You almost got her, Evan. Just don't die. He does have shurikens, which is helpful. Evan, I'm oh, just gonna baby. say, if you don't uh. die, you'll win. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh. Yeah, don't let that hit you. Don't let those hit you. Yeah, I don't think I've dog. ever once fought this battle without a snap seed. Ever? <laughs> it's super fun. You just have to kite the enemies around. Well, you you, you unironically one. love stupid <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> yeah. All right then. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm not kidding! Dylan, no, yeah. Dylan and I, we've had this discussion. He and I are the antithesis of what we like in a game. Mm -hmm. Dylan loves the tedious, the grind, the number crunch. Oh, RuneScape. I hate it. I gotta get back on my RuneScape grind. How's that beep, going? Beep, 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 beep. This is a group Iron Man <laughs> and Dylan update live <laughs> mid-video. We're gonna cut to this segment. Yep, yep. This guy says Thank group God. Iron Man, and yet it's only two of you, because Evan and I That's are playing. Three. Well, shout out to okay. CJ, Cinnamon James. Y'all are welcome, but uh, Hayden grinded real well. I was mm -hmm. very proud mm -hmm. of him. He got a Tome of Fire Thank from you. Wintertop, Thank and you. that means something to a lot of people. Yep. Yep. If you pay me a thousand dollars, I will play with you. Including people oh in God. line at the uh, Star Wars burlesque show, that one guy. Oh yeah, he found a RuneScape fan in the wild. <laughs> oh, we were at the bar, and I like started making jokes to my buddy um, about out. it, and then I saw this guy's head like whip around, and I said Wintertop, and he was like, he started laughing. I was like, holy shit. He's in the That's awesome. He had, a, he had a full Jedi robe on. It was great. Oh. And a big <laughs> erection underneath. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Evan, yeah, and then I, she's yeah, got like so two hits I gotta left. do some cool. I gotta start questing. But, uh, Evan, don't there, fuck this up, Iron though. Don't let those hit you. Listen to my advice. Listen to his advice. It's so I'm, close, I'm Evan. invested now. I want Evan to win. So goddamn close. Evan, hit that woman you until she dies. Hit up, that right? woman until she dies. Hit that oh. woman until she dies. No rallying cry like a sports event? No? What? That would that should have done it! That should have done it! Just How throw a shuriken! Hell? Throw a shuriken, that's all she needs. It doesn't just instantly kill her, you still have to get her posture up. What? Yeah. Really? No way! Dude, oh we have to do God. this all over again. I've seen Hayden eat a Rubik's Cube. That guy's smart. <laughs> hey, that helped me for my lift, alright? That was good calories. What was the hardest part? The plastic or the colors? I like to take off the, the individual color stickers so that you can eat them, mm -hmm. and then you break like them the skin apart. skin on a chicken, yeah. yeah like a, or like a pudding gotcha. skin. Okay, yeah. I got a question. Okay. When you when you eat chicken, you get yummy like fried chicken. Why don't they serve like <laughs> oh, steak shit. with steak skin on it? Well, steak skin? Why don't they deep fry steaks? Are you talking about cowhide? 
Why don't we deep fry steaks? Like leather? <laughs> like Why isn't there a leathery leather. coat over your steak? Yeah. I love a little leather on my steak. It really... Oh, uh, that saved you so bad. Holy up. shit. Oh, we're um, fighting another tension. Deep fried tension. steak, yay or nay? Yeah, sure. yeah I'll country try fried. It. Country fried. Yeah, okay, country, yeah, country exactly fried steak. Right. That is a thing. I know I'm not crazy. Yeah. God damn, I want to go to a Cracker no, Barrel. No, you're you not guys crazy. know my Cracker Barrel shit. Explain why oh, you like Cracker, cracker Barrel so much. I already talked about it last time how hate. Oh Lowest my god, my Hayden, life. beep, 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 party of one. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did it make noises? No. <laughs> fucking idiot. Am I an idiot? <laughs> no, Hayden, your party's ready. Go. Oh, I got you. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I'm not huge on Cracker Barrel. It's okay. It's fine. No, no it's fine for, like, if you want a racist getaway. Mm hmm They don't have good racist food. Racist getaway. <laughs> no, they really don't. <laughs> the, the fucking chicken and dumplings and cold eh. iced mug, frosted mug, orange... Soda? No way. And you don't beat that. I'm sorry. Well, no, you you easily beat it at many nope. different locations. Oh, no, no, you, don't, you actually don't, though, which is crazy. <laughs> but the food's not good there. The all right, all right look, I'll give you Cracker Barrel, and I'll, I'll, I'll say mine. My food place that I think is really good that people just hate. Wait, I like Arby's. No, that's not my favorite food place, but <laughs> Arby's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, everyone hates Arby's? Arby's, and yet I think it's just actually I great. Think Arby's is good, and I actually had the yeah, conversation like with, with a Arby's. colleague of mine. She was like, everyone hates it, but I think Arby's is great. I was like, I yes, think it's awesome. Fuck yes. Their curly fries are banging, oh. and you can even get the mozzarella sticks. Yeah, it's um, thick, they too. Have it's right big. now. They have right now the King's Hawaiian Fish Roll, which is a delicious fried fish sandwich on a King's Hawaiian Roll, and that no, shit's amazing. They, that right now? <laughs> they have it now, yeah. They have it for Lent. No, it's uh, during the Lent months. <laughs> Fuck. This game is so much fun. He had two <laughs> hits left and now has to do all of that again. The game and that's is a mini Jesus. boss. Look, it's yes. That's how it always is. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not, not dude. Of, the, of the Souls game. There's I'm telling you, you it's away, not this you repetitive. Get overzealous and you die. It's just I don't know what it is. This game, the way they did it, just feels so much more tedious <laughs> than the others. I don't know how. It just does. <laughs> Oh, I would man. like I mean, if you put them side by side, the bosses don't take longer than some bosses. Now that I don't believe. How long have you been wrapped, trapped in a room with orange scene and smell in your life? Because it feels like a long time. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like maybe the fights are just over quicker when you die. Whereas here it <laughs> takes forever. Sure. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe I'm then just Then you have old. to play more. At least you get to die and continue playing here. That is the mark of a good game where <laughs> they force you to play more of it instead of you wanting to play more instead of, of you it. quitting. <laughs> 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 Look, I, I, I exaggerate. Something. I exaggerate my complaints. I think oh, this game is excellent. He's but He's a hyperbolist. It frustrates me so. Yes, yes. Shadow I'm going to write a book, and it's going to be called. Sh uh, what's the book you read, Hayden? Shogun. Shogun. <laughs> it's going to be ca called Shogun. <laughs> these nuts in your mouth, and it's Damn. a dissertation on why this game sucks. More like a dick insert. Dick insertation. Dick insertation. <laughs> Suck my <laughs> balls, not Sekiro. Se oh, sec Suckiro. There you go. Suckiro. Suck it's going to be Suckiro. Now stealth kill the general this time. God damn it. Well, you get one bar off of it. And you. that's going to literally save us a million years. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> my exploding barricades. That man has a gun. The movie's on. I have a gun. Not with me, but I have one. Oh, what a movie. <laughs> god damn, so good. Did, who are you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith and I'm a locksmith. <laughs> locksmith. <laughs> or a classic. Apparently I don't play rebooting. good golf and feel bad. I play bad golf and feel and good. Feel good. <laughs> God, and they're rebooting yeah. the Police Squad series, and they want to get Liam Neeson for it. No, well, they that don't. would be really hard to do, Dylan, because he died like five years ago. <laughs> Liam, Liam Neeson. Neeson did not oh, die Liam, five years ago. Liam Neeson, not Leslie not Nielsen. Nielsen. Liam Neeson's their names are like nearly died. Oddly similar, they're the same yeah. human being in different timelines. Let's just admit it. Well, he's good for the movie. I'm on I guess. to you, God. <laughs> um, Liam Neeson in a Police Academy movie? What? Yeah. Do you, would that. Police squad. Would that work? Who's gonna yeah. Who's gonna uh, be the voice guy? Does he do comedy ever? Yeah. So, okay. Have you? Oh, all right. There's a great. Are you comedy gonna talk about the same skit? I'm gonna talk yeah, about definitely go for it. With Ricky Gervais. Yes. 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 Explain mm, yeah. Why. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. He comes in as Liam Neeson, and he's like, "I want to do comedy now. I'm going to do comedy." And Ricky's like, oh, "I don't really. Uh, can you give us anything that you have?" It's Liam and Ricky Gervais. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to think, how does it end? He just talks about, he's like, listen, I did Schindler's List. And for the list, or for the show, I wrote a list. And I showed it to him, and he said, that's a very funny list. <laughs> it's Liam Neeson just doing that the it's whole so dry. time. It's so dry, like... Uh, it's funny and it's <laughs> it's like not leslie nielsen no one could ever be no. but in a weird no. different dry comedy yeah it's way, close because he's like works. i wrote a list and it's just not funny ever at all <laughs> but he's like yeah <laughs> like his eyes are so like pleading the whole time but he plays it so straight it's great yeah oh boy good old ricky gervais what a what a trajectory that man went on huh he was. Remember when everyone like loved everyone him wanted and to he be was, like him. Yeah. the cool counterculture guy. <laughs> everyone wanted to be him in terms of comedy and what they were making. And now, yeah. uh, well, you know, he, you know, whatever. He he does know. the woke shit. Whatever. He like anyone that yeah. leans on that. Anyone that leans on something too hard, like noises. Wah 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 wah. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> Any anything where its central <laughs> charm is around one gimmick, like oh I don't know, maybe making everything talk <laughs> with a funny voice. That would be really yeah. annoying. You're right. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Ricky yeah. Gervais has always been kind of that counterculture, kind of yeah, very in your face about here's what I believe, dude. here's what I'm making. And then he decided for the last few years, dude, cancel culture sucks, doesn't it? And they go, yeah, yeah. you tell him, Ricky Gervais. And then a year later, so how about that cancel culture? Uh, yeah, Ricky. And then a year later, boy, yeah. I'm okay. sure I'm fed up with cancel culture. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to cancel culture. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ricky. Ass. Sounds good. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. Some people yeah, just have so latched onto it, you know? And yeah. Because it's it works e it for is them. Easy, I mean, it though. sells. Yeah, it's yeah. easy. It? I thought he was audience. dropping in popularity. Is it working? Well, I mean, for him, yes, because he's mm. widely popular. But for normal people, regular people, you can get a pretty mm -hmm. good audience pretty quick with that. Like, he's oh, doing oh, that thing that's. Whatever. He's doing that thing that's happening to The Rock, where Ooh. they have a shtick and people love it, and they're like, oh, that's the best, I love when he does that. And then after many, many years of doing that, they're like, Fucking wait, snake. this, this kind of sucks. Like, stop doing that. Have you Although seen that with The say, Rock, what's happening with The Rock? But I will say The Rock is going back and playing the heel as a wrestler, right? And so I actually kind of like that, because right. he pissed well, people no, he's off. Done that. He's done that for the last 20 years. He always shows oh, up at, every couple thing. years to do that's it. So the thing that's happening with The Rock is people are going through his uh, social media, like his Instagram and all that shit. And they're putting together that he just lies about stuff for attention. For example, he has made like five different Instagram posts where he says, I'm trying In-N-Out for the first time. I heard you Californians said In-N-Out's really good. Never had it before. Gonna try it and see if really? I like it. And he's level. posted that exact thing like five different times. That's odd. That is a yeah. really odd one when you're that famous. Like anything you say will be fine. Why lie about that a bunch? Yeah, that's gotta be like think tank stuff. Social media it, posts. It's very the much him, yeah, exactly him right. losing the common man over the years and like trying to appeal to them with that. Like something I found out about him is every time he is signed onto a movie, he imports his entire gym to the movie set so he can stay on his routine while filming. And he's like, oh, it's simple. That's just what I do for the movies. It's no big deal. But this costs mm. like tens of thousands oh, of sure. dollars to do. Just you so he can, but but he also says like oh yeah. it's my routine it's just hard work and working out and dedication it's like no dude you you import hundreds of thousands of dollars of weight equipment everywhere you go into every city like yeah you no one can do the, that the renaissance periodization on that that's the one you should start with because i keep saying it mm -hmm. um but that's the one you should start with <laughs> also did you just kill that snake what the fuck is happening stab that snake <laughs> no, in the eye not quite stab, he made it a one-eyed snake which there's oh. a joke it's somewhere in there but i can't oh my think of goodness. it <laughs> Oh, the that could be spicy. I like mm -hmm. that's a, that riles me up. Ain't snakes got that split penis? Oh my god! Anyone? Am I the only one? <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't look at snake penis that much. No, <laughs> you fucking you missed might it be out, the dude. most penis knowledgeable <laughs> among us. I'm I sorry am, to man. tell you this. <laughs> I had a video. I had a video. This is an old one. I I quickly gave up on this idea. But when I was first up and coming on YouTube, I was like, I gotta shock people. I gotta do stuff to get attention. And I wanted to do like an animal genitalia comparison video. Oh, oh great. <laughs> so I just went down this rabbit hole on Wikipedia. A There's some hole, interesting stuff out there. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. This was. You went this down a was rabbit like, hole? 
I'm sorry. I've disrupted you, but you didn't seem to get the. <laughs> well, no, no, you I got it. You, you, you're cleverer than I am. I'm continuing to. Press There's some the interesting issue. shit in the animal kingdom. That's all I'm going to say. There's yeah, some weird. Horses, There's some man. interesting you know ways I mean? that uh, I've told you interesting about this, ways Mother horses. Nature figured shit out. Echidnas, for example, you know, Knuckles the echidna. Yeah, they I got know. a they got a four headed penis. No, four-handed penis? <laughs> oh, it's just like his knuckles. We don't know what that not means, it. so that's technically not <laughs> doxing anybody. Unlike Sonic, who doesn't chuckle. I'm leaving that one in, and the audience can guess why that's funny. Um, yeah, they got like a four-headed dick. Um, so that one's cool. That's a nice little That's why they got Idris Elba for it, because he also has a forehead. Yeah, dick. that's really a shame. Have you seen him in The Wire? He's a freak. I watched The Wire, and I got bored. Oh yeah, well, okay, so that's a good conversation. The Wire is beautiful because when mm -hmm. that was being made, you mm -hmm. didn't know you could track people through phones, right? So it's like they're actually using the cutting edge technology and you're watching right. it and it's like, holy shit, you can track this motherfucker blind crime through like the phones? And like, you know, I think that makes it interesting. And the acting is just good. But beyond oh, the that- the acting was phenomenal, yeah. It's no I, Band of Brothers. Nothing is. No, uh, no. You know, very just, few, very that's few just shows. Unbelievable. Apples to oranges. I think. Though, they're very that's, different and that's, I, well, right. I'll give you. I'll give you a relevant comparison. I think I'm spoiled by Breaking Bad, for example, because we they that know together. that was so fun. They yeah. know how to balance incredible moments with relax and, and easing yeah. off and character building whereas the wire had a couple incredible moments and then it felt like the entire rest of the show was just boy i hope mm. you really like these characters because they're just gonna you know what i mean it's yeah, just it kind of did, did come up with the she it did it did <laughs> which is pretty great <laughs> it did yeah. yeah, I watched season one, and I liked it, appreciated it, but then I started two, and in a couple episodes, I was like, eh, I'm just kind of kind of bored. Fuck this. So I gave up on That's it. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Have you seen all of it? Yeah, of course. It's only like three or four seasons. It's not very many. Huh. There's some guy in the comments who's going to be like, The Wire's the best show ever made, and you're a fucking idiot. It's and that guy, I completely understand. It, like, the problem with <laughs> yeah. all these shows is, like, the cultural impact at the time, of course. <laughs> Oh, Hayden, there Hayden, is very relevant, very relevant. Tell them the story of when we talked about your dad in The Sopranos. The Sopranos? Which one was that? That was, was the that story. So I also yeah. started The Sopranos. I, I was on this kick of watching classic shows. Like, that's how I started Band of Brothers. But, like, The Sopranos, The Wire, all those shows where you hear about them is, like, the best of all time. And I just never seen them. And I watched The Sopranos. <laughs> and I watched three or four episodes. And it was the same thing. It's like, yeah, it's cool. Maybe for its time, it was amazing. But now I'm, just kinda, I'm not now. into it. It's not yeah. doing it for me. I know where you're going. And I talked to you, and you were like, yeah. I felt the same thing. And you said that your dad, yeah, when he, he was found like, out you were watching the show. He was like, watch out for that fucked up episode. He was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that, dude, that that's story, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, he was like, oh, yeah, they do some real fucked up shit. And my dad, is, he's not very, you know, he's very like, it has to be fucking impressive for it to make a dent. And so he's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it's pretty brutal and i was like oh my god what the fuck are they gonna do to these people and i was like i didn't see a single episode where i was like oh that's fucked up i, I was just like yeah they're killing people <laughs> yeah. in the mob straight okay that's it it just Never shows the, yeah, the exposure yeah. get you know and so i'm sure something was crazy to him but i'm like yeah whatever what a, i've seen fucking what episode YouTube do you think he was talking videos. about probably the one where tony goes come on mr frodo we got to get to the fires of mount doom <laughs> oh shit when he did that hey describe for me the plot up. of the godfather andrew oh <laughs> right <laughs> this discussion we we talked about how i've never seen the godfather because again we have this cabal of things i know of and throughout my life yet i've just never cabal. watched it you're gonna give us some evil animus that's right. Yeah, I have no goodness. idea what you're referencing, but that's correct. Well, that's and, and, and Hayden evil, and Hayden goes, "Wow, you've never seen The Godfather." I'm offended personally. Also, that horse is gonna poof into dust for no reason, right? You killed now. it. Oh, oh no, not the horsey! Remember that guy was stabbed and faded it. away, but the horse just gave up on living. Anyway, congrats on first try, Evan. Well done. Yeah, nice yeah. work, buddy. So I've hey, never Evan's seen The Godfather. Good at video games. Goddamn, I've ne never Turns seen out. The Godfather. <laughs> And I, I said, well, it's not that big of a deal because from parody alone, I can probably surmise the entire plot. Well, go and ahead. Hayden, Don't Hayden go any further. Great, go plot it up. Great <laughs> offense to Shut that. that shit out. Let's see, baby. All right. So there's start a daughter. From, there's the a, first there's first a, a mafia yeah. boss okay. who has a daughter who's All getting right. married. Okay, I like this. So and Good people work. kind of use that as the opportunity to be like, yo, I need a favor. I need, okay, I need nice. a mafia help. 
Nice. And so that shit kind of happens. And then <laughs> there's a son in the mafia family <laughs> who's like, you know, I could be the mob boss. I, I'm being kind of groomed to be the big mob guy. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, there's some maybe. complexity, but you're, 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 you're in there. And then there's the, the dichotomy of, well, these people are in the mafia and these people aren't. And this is happening. And this guy's straight. And this guy's trying to get clean. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then eventually the story becomes, yeah, I'm going to be the mafia guy. And he falls into a very dark, sad pit of crime. And that's the film. I guess I don't know. I mean, I I honestly I can't. I can give you a seven. You out of can't 10 believe on that. I'm completely correct. I know I can, it's shocking. I can give but... you a seven out of ten. But there are two sons, <laughs> and one wants to, and one two doesn't. Son, and then the, it's not in the Arizona. Other, yeah. It takes place in Italy. Oh Jesus! What Tatooine has? What? How many sons does Tatooine have? Some <laughs> it takes place on like Shia Lu, the third <laughs> crater on the <laughs> the third. What is the mouth shadow behind the third moon? Mean? For, I, I mean, I was right. right. I know yeah. I was right. No, like, I'm I mean, perfectly right. Yes, but you missed an unbelievably huge part of it and you you got one what? son story right there's two okay. sons the, okay the, the one son mm -hmm. uh spoilers for all you people out here who want to watch well, it the, well i want to watch well, it that's the point okay fine yeah okay spoil uh, i don't care yeah, it's well, good it. enough good enough Spoil it. It's too late. No, spoil it. It's too late. I don't, I don't think you want to actually watch it. No, it just one. What the one fuck son. are you talking about, Evan? <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. You, you confidently know the. You confidently know the story. Yeah, yeah, no, actually, you have a point. If I know the plot, why would I watch the movie? What's the point? You, you, you should rewrite it. one. You should rewrite you one for modern it in times. Your brain. Oh wait, I did miss a really important detail. You're right. The Don. He talks like this. Come to my daughter's wedding. You take this. You take this over there. Oh, you know, I can't come believe to my it. daughter's wedding. You <laughs> come on my daughter at her wedding. <laughs> come come to my on my daughter's wedding. Come <laughs> on in to my daughter. <laughs> come on, I'm on over. You're offer. invited to my daughter's wedding. You ask oh, wait, I forgot another, another, another important detail. <laughs> uh, take, Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Oh, that's big. That is yeah, big. Yeah, that's though. another big one. There but you go. Come to my daughter's wedding. <laughs> you come on my daughter at her wedding. Huh? You come to yeah. me. You ask me a favor on the day of my daughter's wedding. You son of a bitch. You bitch boy. You should watch it though, because there's a lot more than what you said, but that's pretty good. No, nah, there's Those not. things do happen. <laughs> I think it's a happen, three hour movie in a few <laughs> sentences. You know, it's it's over. See, I know everything about The Godfather. I know the guy gets parodied everywhere. He's got the squinty face, Marlon Brando. Okay, um, take it easy. I Marlon know that I know that his great. last name is the namesake for Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Do you know why Marlon Brando showed up as the Godfather looking like he did? Because oh god, does isn't he? I know he had to have it's his so lines great. written down on the desk and read them. In some instances, basically, it all stems from um, Apocalypse Now, uh, where he is mm. the the evil guy, uh, mm -hmm. or, or evil, whatever you want to call it. When he gets gets mm -hmm. corrupted by the locals, um, which seems racist to me, uh, but that's a separate issue. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. And he doesn't. Since when have you had a problem with racism? <laughs> Wait a minute now. Um, <laughs> hold on. Uh, but anyways, a lawyer. Mm, oh, Your Honor. Uh, but Brave. he um, it didn't read at all. He like he read the book, and then um, which is um, uh, what is it? Something dark. Uh, why can't I? Oh, I'm an English major. Heart oh, of I darkness. Actually, yeah, heart of darkness. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. executed for that. My, if anyone you listens to this yeah. from my yeah. English class, they're gonna hunt me down and kill me. It's a bond, we, a pact we all make. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, he doesn't study for that. He reads the book. He shows up. He's supposed to be like a general. He shows up like 80 pounds overweight, not having read anything, and he gives the best fucking performance of his life. It's unbelievable. He's so good. And then immediately after that is when he goes into The Godfather. So he's a big boy from just not giving a shit, being a big fat boy, and then he goes right into The Godfather and does a second lifetime performance. That dude was impressive for what he was doing. Oh, wait, why, that, you didn't explain at all Genuinely. the point that you brought up earlier, which is why he's so fucked up and out of it during the movie. Because because he's just an, a fucking actor and he was just kind of out of it and fat and didn't really care. But he like was so good, you know, that he just huh. showed up in the same shape that he was in for um, Apocalypse Now and just gave the performance of his life. If we want to go, perfect. if we want to go it's full circle, it's just interesting. If we want to go full circle, he then gets parodied in Zootopia. And oh. if we're talking earlier about my YouTube video idea, that has rabbit holes in it. And it's like, oh, you God. see what I mean? Like, you it all comes back. The rabbit holes. It's like Boomerang, a cartoon network. It all comes back to you, you know? Did you also know that Marlon Brando slept with basically everybody in Hollywood? Even me? 
<laughs> if you were around, if you were around today, you could expect I heard a Dylan, knock on the door. Dylan's just little. <laughs> 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 No, that is like the supposition that you didn't know it happened, but it did happen, and this is how you're finding out. <laughs> even, even me? <laughs> Not even me? His oh yeah, that'd be even worse. Wait, what about me? Yeah, that's sad. Oh, Ivan, you should not have alerted these guys. This is he, bad. You know he, who he was this alleged to oh, Jesus. Oh. Also, why are you skipping the story? It's very good. What are you talking about? It's very you know good. who he was alleged to I have slept with? I about this game. Um, probably his loving wife. So, no, but this woman's wife uh. is the one that told everybody that he slept with him. Richard Pryor. Uh, oh. Richard Pryor's wife was like, yeah, they, so they fucked. Pryor. Oh. Pryor was Richard Pryor. So he had a prior engagement. <laughs> oh. Da, 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 oh. Da, 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 da. You little fuckers. God I'm damn. really goddamn funny. Someone should pay me to make comedy videos. When I was a kid, one of my dreams for my comedy was to be able to do it internationally. And I always had visions of doing it for like an African prince. Oh. And he just does that like old like children's movie Africa laugh. The ha 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 ha. Oh, that's a funny joke. <laughs> that kind of I shit. I you get your dream. Well, we grew up in a racist time. You know that. Oh, my God. We did. Certainly. We really, we honestly really what did. What are you I mean, doing? Okay. Did you? Um, have you seen the fucking Ikumbokum guy from Banjo and Kazooie? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty rough. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah, I give you that much. I give you that. We should play Clay Fighters. If you want to see, unironically, a straight up racist N64 game, I don't Clay know. Fighter 63 and a third. Ooh. I am shocked it was made. That sounds fun. 63 and a third. I'll, I'll play it. I loved it as a kid, which it's not great. But you didn't like that I'll joke? I'll play it. 63 and a third compromise? Well, they, I mean, they made the same joke. It's called Clay Fighter 63 and a third. And yeah. in fact, now that I remember, the remake, Clay Fighter 63 and a third director's cut, is the <gasps> rarest and most expensive N64 game of all time. How much is it? I don't Dude, remember, it, but it was a Blockbuster exclusive. Oh, I you could hey, only rent it from Blockbuster. And I'm going to look it up now how much it costs to, to buy one. And just walk. Oh, my God. What is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right. We ready? We ready for for uh, in box perfect condition clay fighter sculptor's cut wait, blockbuster wait, exclusive. Wait, Take a guess how much it is. Thirty two hundred. Thirty two hundred dollars for an N sixty four game, Dylan. Nine thousand dollars. Oh, uh, Evan, card game player. I would say forty eight. Forty eight dollars. <laughs> less than a regular right, priced go. video game. Okay, so you just left go. Right, what's the f actual? <laughs> okay, so Hayden, you were close. Forty-eight. Hayden, you were close. About really? about thirty thousand dollars is what you would get if it was in bad condition or outside of packaging. I said if you want two hundred. Thirty-two hundred. Oh no, sorry, I said thirty-two thousand yeah, yeah. for that. What the fuck? If you want it perfect condition, mint in the case, it's a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What is this again? It is the rarest N sixty-four game ever made. How, how many were made? Can you get that stat for me? Oh, I watched a thing on it. I think it was like. 5,000, not even. My God, that's a lot like, of money. I think it was one. I'm going to buy it. I think it was literally just, one I'm copy for it. every existing Blockbuster store at the time. So, oh. really, just not a lot. Oh, the block. Uh, that makes sense. It was actually. Blockbuster only. You could only rent it. What is this Blockbuster? Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a show, a comedy it, show on it's Netflix. Called Con Con Buster. Yeah. Uh, there is also one remaining Blockbuster, and the way that it stays afloat is they also sell pizza. And they're in Alaska, so they can't fucking get anything. Yep. I uh, wanted to talk about them at one point. Because it's yeah, interesting. It's worth it. It is oh, worth well. it. Kill I that bull. I, I Kill stole that, that from bull. you. Why is this asshole still alive? I don't know, because you haven't killed him yet. Whoop, Why thing. did you firecracker early? That was dumb. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. So let's talk about a bull's penis. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't think I have any uh, factoids on a bull's penis. Let me ask you a question. Have you guys it's ever had Rocky Mountain Oysters? No. Yes. May maybe. Maybe. No, I have not. You haven't. You said yes pretty quick. You know what those are, of course. No. Bull <laughs> testicles. Oh, goddamn, you haven't. 
<laughs> Evan just like eats things. Fool. Now Evan just goes in the wild and eats things. He went to a restaurant once and went, ooh, Rocky Mountain oysters, and started eating them. Didn't even know. <laughs> they're not bad. I've had I've had shepherd. I think they're a gimmick food. I don't think there's a reason to ever eat them. Oh, for sure. Them. It tasted like a shitty wet calamari. Yeah, <laughs> so I've been heard. So I've been told. So I've been heard. So I've been heard. <laughs> Kill this bull. Uh, blazing yeah, bull. Evan, why haven't you killed the bull yet? He's working on it. It's blazing. Oh! oh, no. Is this a reference to the burning bull torture method? I hate oh, that, God. man. Don't ever Ooh, talk about that again. Bad. That shit it's, is it's the worst fucked. thing I could You're ever right. imagine. It's, it's genuinely fucked. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm scared to ask. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. We're not? Do, 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 do you want do, to do. talk about it? I mean, I can just say what it is for Dylan. Okay, just tell it. Dylan so I don't sleep tonight. It's like uh, yeah, the worst yeah, yeah. thing I can ever it's imagine. It's a giant metal bull, and then they put you inside of it. Like, it's a it's a life-size bull. Well, that sounds fun. They put like you inside ride. of it. And, yeah, then, and then they shake it back and forth and go, wee, ha, 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 you're in oh. the bull, and then they let you out. The <laughs> end. Like, that was so fun. The yeah. end. Yeah. Editor, end the episode now, That's quick. It. That's it. <laughs> they definitely don't light it on fire underneath and you burn uh, yeah. alive. Yeah. Oh. So it's it's made out of brass typically, which tends to get really fucking hot Pretty when hot. you put a fire yeah. to it. And uh, the guy who made it was ceremoniously given the first test of it and killed in one. Oh, good. Yeah, not good. The irony. It's not great. Really, what really makes me uncomfortable. I mean, you Ugh. get what you get. <laughs> no. If How many make people who make giant... guns have ever been shot by one? Probably not enough. Ooh. Yeah, take that. Yeah, take yeah. that gun laws. No, you're right, you're right. Yeah. How many people invented the noose were ever hung at the oh, gallows, huh? One guy. That one guy who invented it, that's how <laughs> the they one found guy. him. But... The one guy, yeah. You killed it! You blazed that bolt! Yay! Well, yes, that was an well, animal close. that had literally Die no slowly. thoughts of what it was doing. In fact, it was on fire yeah. and in great yep. pain. Yeah, Your, you didn't shut you... the fire. Literally yeah. just killed an innocent, stupid creature, Evan. Now let's think about what you no, could have done. Prayer bead. You could have sliced off the burning pieces on his I head love, and it would have calmed down. You know, I you love that, that that's so mean. You fight that whole bull and you're like, oh, it's over. And then they summon guards that you have to fight. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That man it's begged for his guard. life, Evan. I didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, he didn't say shit. You just said die, scoundrel. <laughs> I can't hear them scream, therefore they want to die. <laughs> hey, look, it's that lady who does nothing. This part sucks. I died here so many times. Have you read I uh, these what fucking guys with Let me find the name yeah. It's a jump in difficulty. Well, I mean, that would be the case if this game is hard, but it's made for children. <laughs> Have you read hey, a Connecticut I'm Yankee hard. in King Arthur's Court? <laughs> I have read child. all these obscure books I've never heard of before. You're right. By Mark Twain, you haven't read that one? No. It's very good. No. It's a, a guy goes back in time to King Arthur's court and he is treated kind of like a wizard because he knows how to like get uh, drinking rumping. water flowing and he remembers some like small like how to make light explosives. It's very interesting. Good book. Oh. The thing about that like is like if I actually got sent back, I'd be like, you won't believe the technology we have. We have phones that do this and they can just show you any video and be like, oh, show us how. And we'd be like, ah. yeah. like oh. Well, no, they would first go, uh. they would first go, what's a phone? Yeah. Yeah. No, if so a lot of a lot of people don't consider this, and I'm I'm not saying you guys, but there's a lot of a lot of things about going back in the past that would just mean that you would probably most likely be executed for being crazy or as exercise yeah, society. Anything, number anything, one yeah. number one, I hope you speak old English. I That's do. gonna be really, really required <laughs> if you go back to like the sixteen hundreds. You know, not not modern English, but old English. Ye old English. Do it. Give us a little old English then, Hayden, if you speak. Yeah, it. Hayden, go ahead. Ictuthaneth Wallen. You know, I don't know enough about old English to say whether or not he's right. Yeah. The only it's, word I know in old English is under, and I know it's pronounced under. It, it, I didn't say it exactly correctly, but I and said I know maybe, that. I, know it's, I, mean, I said maybe 70% of it, but it's basically like, do you sell whale teeth? And I know that okay. because in high school we read Beowulf, which is the coolest goddamn story ever. Yeah, it's pretty and, sick. And we had a lesson where we compared it to the Old English, and the person reading it on the recording went, Beowulf in Gundundun Undun Urban Underin. And I was like, oh, under! I know that! Under! Yeah. At Nondescript University, I had an Old English course, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and uh, it was pretty fun. It was enjoyable. Oh. Uh, can I give you something and you tell me how to say it in Old English? Hell no, I, I'm not fluent. I had a class in it. <laughs> 
Oh. I don't understand why you're not fluent then, but okay. Go ahead, yeah. tell me. What? Go ahead, Dylan. Uh, uh, do you have a USB-C charger? <laughs> Is it Waffen USB charging? <laughs> USB charging. <laughs> yeah, USB charging? <laughs> yeah, USB charging. I think you just say, do you have a USB yeah. charger? Oh, you speak hey, also, if, shit, if you go back in what? time, I hope you're uh, able to steal some clothes from back then. Otherwise, they're going to be like, "What the fuck is this? What do you? What? It, what? Yeah, that's uh, true. Enough. They Holy like, that's Esther? Pretty pretty what? For no dental care and no all of your dental teeth will care, fall out of your head. Almost no medical care. Uh, you oh, no you love. better be religious, the local religion, no, or else. Um, there's there's just so many things. That make time travel like so. That's a common question you see it all over the internet. Like if you could travel back in time and blah, 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 where would you go? And I can't think that anywhere beyond 1970 would be any form of enjoyable. Yeah. And another reason I bring that up is all right. So a lot of people idolize the 20s to the 50s. Oh, I want to be in the Roaring 20s. Oh, I want to go back to the 50s with posterity and blah blah. And then I think about it and I say, I want to see a black guy say that. I, I really, really want to see their mm. opinion on that, on how things used to be back then. Yeah. It's not great. It's not, not good. good. Not they're not, good. they're idolized, romanticized times. They're not good. Yeah. At all. So. But you just pick you know. the best stories out of it anyways, you know? Exactly. And, you just pick that's... what you want from it. And we can do what they had back then now. Do whatever yeah. they were doing. Go to, a, go to a fucking, to go to a, well. start a dance party and play 1920s big band sock hop. You can do that right now. Granted, you won't hear it at the club. But you can do it yourself. Make it real. Dylan, you can do it. Do it. do it. do it. Do it, Dylan. Do it, Dylan. Fucking Dylan. pussy. Do it, Dylan. Okay, <laughs> and so Dylan <laughs> fell into the 1920s. When, whenever I think of things per Simmon, I think Simmons is a pretty good guy. You like Simmons? Gene? Yeah, Gene yeah, Simmons. Thinking. Good old Kiss, the band that looks like they play death metal, and yet their songs are, I want to <laughs> party every day. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Want to rock it every night? Party every day. And then they dress like they want to fuck a goat until it dies. Holy shit! Good stuff. That's not what that dress means. Well, okay, what does it mean? It just means like wow, I want to party every day and night. It doesn't mean I want to fuck a goat. Why do they dress like death metal then? That is goat fucking to you? Oh, that's what shit. death metal is. Ah, uh, what? You've never fucked a goat. Hang on. Oh, have you wait, never wait, fucked wait. a goat? Uh, I might not have ever fucked a goat. This guy hasn't fucked a goat. Holy um, shit. Oh my Should goodness. I? Well, how else are you going to know what the lyrics to Kiss means? God damn it. You're right. I have to Everyone fuck a goat that for Kiss. I want to rock and roll all night is euphemism for I want to commit bestiality. Ah, oh, fuck. I have heard that. <laughs> it Where? is. Where'd you hear really? that? I heard that on the radio. Well, it's, it's like a... It's a secret, though. Like, it's a recording industry secret. They usually don't talk about it. No, I, I heard it on the radio, like, loud and clear. Was that they that like, interview uh, with Gene uh, Simmons? Wanna fuck a goat? Goat right now. all night! <laughs> I wanna night. fuck a goat! I yeah. wanna fuck a goat all right night! You know what? For the rest of my life, I'm never gonna unhear that. <laughs> it's gonna I'm be sorry. my new lyrics for that. I would do pretty much uh, <laughs> Wanna permanently. fuck a goat all night! <laughs> Uh, and not because I am gay. There you go. <laughs> I'll fuck a goat today. Because I, I want, want to, to fuck, fuck a goat. goat. <laughs> that and Andrew and Hayden just start repeating the same <laughs> song lyric over and over. It's done. <laughs> <Austin. and he's laughs> the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a goat to fuck. He was in a box because he was like, please save us. Well, Deb, put rosin on your bow and fuck that goat real hard. <laughs> 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 this is what I deal with normally. Uh, I love Sekiro. It's the best game. Here it I'll be, You'll be in go. my goat from the stage. Oh my god. That was the theme of Tarzan, wasn't the it? He was raised by animals, gone. so he. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no goats, though. No, you don't, don't seem to be joining in on this discussion. Do you have brain damage or something? <laughs> I, oh, here we I'll go. I'll be released from my earthly coil. <laughs> Oh, there you man. go. Yeah, nice. You did. You did. Why are you no running damage. away from there? Could you kill him? Please. It's so easy. I know he's got some like armor or whatever, but you don't even have to posture him. 
<laughs> oh you're my god. Early. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in your go. Excuse me. I'll be in your goat. goat. <laughs> a goat for uptown me. Uptown goat. She's been fucking with her <laughs> uptown <laughs> boat. Go. <laughs> this is a bad corner. This is a great segment, though. In the Let's keep it going. Of her up, down, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, oh. No. oh, oh what's another goat song? There's a lot of goat there songs. We just some... have to think of them. Yeah, um, I garden. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right, whatever. Mm. Super fragile. Fucking goat. That's a real <laughs> You didn't like exp uh, super fragilistic XB Alec Goatish. <laughs> Goatish. Oh, God. Even go. E Those are the ones that I'd fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. Uh. Oh, sheep don't know. Cause you chase the U's away. U's? <laughs> is that like the professional? Eddie Vetter probably fucked oh, that goat. Oh, yeah. No. Evan, knock him off. The building! Does he just die after one? Come on, dude. You'll see! It it's cool! Go, but if he's not doing it! He's so close! He's doing it. Well, and now he's dead. You, but he was I don't think you have to posture like. break him. I think you can just make him fall. Posture break! You have to posture break him to make him fall. You do? Yes. yes. Oh, this game sucks. Do it. Do it. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. This is looking good! This is it. This is it. You did it. That might be too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scream. <laughs> oh, what no. the fuck? You're already dead. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh no! I'm gonna scream again. <laughs> oh, I'm so He's glad. He's gonna scream. So glad it's not happening to me and it's someone else. <laughs> he almost well, fell off on his own. Right now? I am playing, but in spirit. Oh, okay. Nice firework combo. Now hit him with the thingy. Now hit him with the thingy again. Now you be careful. He's gonna hit you with the thingy. Now parry his thingy. Don't let him thingy you. Oh my god. Thingy him hard. Oh, thingy, Evan, here comes the four up. thingy. One thingy. Two, two thingy. thingy. Oh my god. My thingy thingy. That might do it. Maybe. Probably too far. No, I think he got it. Yep. Yes! Oh, that was so close. Robert! That was very close. What are we talking about, Robert? 